But from third is Western Cyclone pushing at the rail is Dundag fourth far outside Western Ace is on the move early now for Pierce up into fifth now fourth now third and he'll take a shot at the front up on the outside moving into sixth now is Grand Sasso then backed off seventh is Art Standing and the early trailer as they move into the first turn is Fox Valley Tribal and on the outside Western Ace and Pierce strike the front through a quarter and 27 and one back into second it's Mr. Feelgood racing along in third is Joe to go Western Cyclone studying the early action from back and forth just a matter of time before Sears pulls the trigger and there he goes. He had the itchy trigger finger and on the move comes Western Cyclone first up. Western Ace is on the point leading it a length and a half. In the pocket spot Mr. Feelgood rubbing up quickly on the outside. Western Cyclone is going to brush to the front for Sears right at the half and 55 and 3. Western Cyclone takes the field into the far turn. Back in second, Western Ace. Left uncovered third outside is long shot Grand Sasso. Doubled up at the rail from in fourth is Mr. Feelgood. Fifth on the outside, Dunebeg is perfectly spotted for Jamison. Only two from the front. Also moving up sixth on the outside with a big bow in his neck is Joe to go. Then towards the inside is Art Standing with a long way to come. And the trailer Fox Valley Tribal. Three quarters put on the board, 123 and 2, 27 and 4 in the third quarter, and still the one to catch is Western Cyclone. Western Ace pocketed up in behind him, Grand Sasso, and here comes Dunebeg, cut loose off cover for Jamison, who steps on the gas. And off cover now, Dunebeg is powering up. Here comes Dunebeg on the outside, trying to slay Western Cyclone, and he's got him! Dunebeg on the outside clears to the lead. Western Ace is slipping through between late pace now from Fox Valley Tribal. Dunebeg takes the third Pepsi North America Cup elimination. Western Ace was second. Third was Fox Valley Tribal. Fourth between horses late. Mr. Feelgood, 151 and four, and it was Dunebeg. Happy Jody Jamison in the winner's circle, and Dunebeg uh, delivers in 51-4, and four, so the pint-sized pacer uh, does it again, Jody, and, and tonight uh, he really got the kind of trip that he thrives on. Yeah, you know, the trip really worked out. Uh, last week I could have taken a trip behind Grand Sasso and uh, declined to do it, uh, regretfully so. You know, uh, he paced hard down the lane. Um, second over last week, you know, you never know what happens. Uh, tonight we get second over right to the head of the lane. I swung him over, he kicked right into gear. Uh, you know, we get into a strong headwind and come... You know, 28 and 2 or 28 and 1, whatever you come, you know, a little bit slower than the other division, but uh, we're in the final, so that's all that matters. I wanted to ask you that. Uh, he got a little bit tired at the end of 51 and 4, but is he the type, because of his size, that the, maybe the wind affected him a little bit more than it will some of the others? I don't think he was tired. Just Western Ace was locked up there for a long time, and he was charging hard, you know. Uh, he, he, he's a real good horse, and he, he, we got lucky tonight. You know, hopefully we'll be able to get lucky in seven days from now. Uh, can we assume, uh, based on what we've seen from him so far, that... As far as the trip scenario next week, uh, you're going to have to try and work out something similar? Well, obviously, you know, we're going to get to pick our posts, so hopefully that'll work in our favor, you know, uh, the, the trip. But, you know, you're always going to need a good trip to beat these kind of horses. You know, he's, uh, he's an Ontario sired horse, that, uh, and the breed's come a long way, but, you know, you still you got to go out and beat them, and you need a good trip. You seem to be reaching new heights every year. Uh, finally, what's it going to mean to, to race in Canada's richest event? Well, you know, it's a big thrill. I got to watch Mark McDonald last year do it, you know, and everyone knows how good he is and uh, the, the talent that he gets to drive it night in and night out. And, you know, it's going to be a big thrill. He, he, he said it was nothing like it, and he drew the 10-hole, you know, and uh, so hopefully uh, things will work out a little different for me. Good luck next week. Congratulations. Thanks a lot, Greg. Jody Jamison and Dunebeg, one of the local hopefuls in next week's Pepsi NA Cup Final.